As the deafening roar of engines revs up once again, a burning question is echoing through the winding, narrow streets of Monaco. Will Sergio Checo Perez, the Mexican maestro of the track, outrun the Dutch dynamo Max Verstappen in this iconic Grand Prix? Hello F1 fanatics, today we're diving deep into the high-octane drama of Formula One, dissecting the intense rivalry between two titans of the tarmac. At the heart of our discussion is the upcoming Monaco Grand Prix, a race with the potential to either continue the current status quo or flip the standings on their head. Now, if you've been following this season, you know it's been a breathtaking chase between Red Bull's top guns, Perez and Verstappen. With Red Bull's uncatchable RB19 car and the racer's astonishing skill, they've emerged as the indomitable force of this season. But who will conquer the streets of Monaco? Will Perez's street circuit prowess give him the edge, or will Verstappen's sheer tenacity and current lead keep him ahead? Buckle up, folks, we're about to find out. So, let's dig a little deeper, shall we? When we talk about dominance on the F1 circuit this season, there's no overlooking the Red Bull team. These guys aren't just leading the pack, they're rewriting the playbook. And at the center of this high-speed spectacle are our two gladiators, Perez and Verstappen. The one-two punch of these speedsters has turned the tables in favor of Red Bull. They've swept the victory podium in all five races so far. Now, that's what I call sheer dominance. The RB19, Red Bull's secret weapon, has proven to be nothing short of a marvel on wheels. And let's not forget, it's not just about the car, but the men behind the wheel. Perez and Verstappen have been pushing their machines to the limit, playing a high-stakes game of cat and mouse at the top of the driver's standings. With Verstappen in the lead, having bagged three wins compared to Perez's two, the competition is fierce. These two drivers' sheer determination and raw skill have fueled Red Bull's dominating spree. But here's the kicker. Despite their neck-and-neck -neck rivalry, they've been a force of unity on the track, underlining the true essence of teamwork. That's what it takes, folks. Two drivers with a common goal, a top-of-the-line car, and an unbeatable spirit. So, as we rev up for the Monaco Grand Prix, one thing's for sure. Red Bull is the team to beat. But the question remains between Perez and Verstappen, who will emerge as the king of Monaco's iconic narrow streets. Keep your engines running, we're just getting started. But first, let's hit the brakes for a moment and take a closer look at the leaderboard. As of now, it's Max Verstappen who's topping the charts, edging out Perez by a slim 14-point margin after five races. That's closer than a hair's breadth in the fast-paced world of F1. Our Dutch dynamo Verstappen has had the edge so far, clinching three victories to Perez's two. In the midst of thunderous applause and the sparkling spray of champagne on the victory podium, Verstappen stood tall, relishing his triumphant moments. He has left no doubt about his determination to stay at the top. But let's not count out Sergio Checo Perez just yet. He's been hot on Verstappen's heels, not letting him bask in the comfort of a clear lead. Perez's two victories underline his tenacity and prove he's not in this just to make up the numbers. He's here to win. And let's not forget, they're driving the same beast of a car, the RB19. So the difference lies in their driving prowess, their strategy, and of course, a sprinkle of lady luck. The stakes couldn't be higher as we look forward to the iconic Monaco Grand Prix. The narrow streets of Monaco are no stranger to history-making moments, and with Verstappen and Perez in the mix, we're sure to be in for a treat. So will Perez close in on the gap, or will Verstappen extend his lead? Only time and the streets of Monaco will tell. For now, let's dial in on the strengths of our top contenders, Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez, specifically how they handle the unique challenges of street circuits. Remember, folks, the Monaco Grand Prix is no ordinary race. It epitomizes high-speed chess on a razor-thin knife edge. Now, there's no doubting Max Verstappen's ability to conquer any track that's laid before him. His fearlessness, his instinct for seizing an opportunity, his relentless speed, all of these elements make him a force to be reckoned with. On street circuits, Max's razor-sharp reflexes and bold overtakes have earned him a place among the greats. 
But on the other side, we have Sergio Checo Perez, the Mexican maestro who seems to dance with the car on street circuits. Perez's innate ability to thread the needle through tight corners and his exceptional car control make him a street circuit specialist. His notable performances validate this claim, especially in the Jeddah Grand Prix. And here's where things get intriguing. F1 legend Damon Hill has weighed in on this debate. Hill, whose insights are always worth paying heed to, has a fascinating observation about Perez. He suggests that Perez could potentially outshine Verstappen on street circuits like Monaco. It's Perez's finesse, his nuanced understanding of the limits, and his exceptional ability to feel the grip that might just give him the edge. Hill's comments add another layer of intrigue to the upcoming Monaco Grand Prix. Will it be Verstappen's aggressive speed or Perez's controlled precision that will shine on the iconic Monaco streets? This question alone makes the upcoming race an unmissable event. So keep your seatbelts fastened, folks. We're in for an exhilarating ride. Now, what's a good sporting event without a smidge of rivalry, right? Our story today is as much about the rivalry between Perez and Verstappen as it is about the Monaco Grand Prix. This competitive contention is a fuel that drives both these racers to push their limits. Verstappen, the fiery Dutch, known for his aggressive driving and never back down attitude, has always been a force in the championship. He's currently holding the championship lead, but his mirror is filled with the sight of Perez's RB19 hot on his tail. Then we have Perez, a man whose driving style is poetry in motion. Though trailing Verstappen by 14 points, he's far from out of the fight. In fact, his resolve only seems to strengthen with each passing race. This dogged determination makes him such a formidable rival to Verstappen. Their rivalry, however intense, isn't just about who crosses the finish line first, it's also about who extracts the most from their machine, makes smarter split-second decisions, and handles the pressure better. The upcoming Monaco Grand Prix is a perfect stage for this high-octane duel to unfold. Interestingly, while their rivalry adds a dash of thrill to each race, they also greatly respect each other's skills and accomplishments. They push each other to be better, faster and more precise, making Red Bull the force it is today. And when it comes to Formula One, the rivalry between drivers isn't just an intriguing subplot. It can impact team dynamics, and nobody knows this better than Red Bull's team principal, Christian Horner. He's got quite a job on his hands, managing two fiercely competitive drivers who are locked in a battle for the championship. It's like juggling dynamite. Horner is acutely aware of the possible internal conflict that could arise due to this intense rivalry. He's seen it before, hasn't he? But this time around, he has a different approach. He's been outspoken about the importance of team representation, emphasizing that while individual glory is important, it's the team's success that ultimately matters. In the high-stakes game of Formula One, there's no room for personal grudges. The mantra is simple – you either win as a team or you learn as a team. Horner's perspective speaks volumes about his experience in managing the intricate dynamics of a top-tier F1 team. The million-dollar question then is, how will Perez and Verstappen negotiate this delicate balance between personal ambition and team success? Horner suggests there could be room for compromise. As intense as their rivalry might be, these two drivers know that their real competition is with the other teams on the grid, not with each other. It's this understanding that has helped Red Bull maintain its cohesive team dynamic amidst the on-track battles. As we brace ourselves for the upcoming Monaco Grand Prix, keep an eye out for this unique dynamic between Perez and Verstappen. Yes, they're rivals, but they're also teammates. Alright folks, we've dissected the rivalry and explored the team dynamics. Now it's time to set our sights on the jewel in the crown of Formula One, the iconic Monaco Grand Prix. It's not just a race, it's a spectacle. It's where glitz, glamour and high-octane racing come together in a mesmerizing dance, and we're all invited to the Grand Ball. With its tight turns, narrow lanes and unforgiving barriers, Monaco is arguably one of the most challenging tracks in F1. Navigating this 3.337-kilometer circuit demands a blend of precision, bravery and a hint of madness. 
There's no room for error here. One wrong move and you're hugging the barriers. Now, this is where our main men, Perez and Verstappen, come into the spotlight. Both have proven their mettle on street circuits, but Monaco, well, it's a different beast altogether. Can Verstappen's aggression tame this beast, or will Perez's precision be the key to unlocking success? It's anyone's game. There's no shortage of predictions and speculations swirling around. F1 pundits, fans, even the drivers themselves, everyone's got a take on how this race might pan out. And amidst this whirlpool of predictions, Damon Hill's comments stand out. He believes the Monaco track might just favor Perez. This could be the stage where Perez's finesse truly shines. But here's the thing about Formula One, folks. It's as unpredictable as it gets. A dash of rain, a safety car, a botched pit stop, and the entire race can flip on its head. That's the beauty of this sport, isn't it? It keeps us on our toes, our hearts in our mouths, our eyes glued to the screen. Even though Verstappen is leading the championship, Perez is not far behind. A win for Perez in Monaco could upset the balance and throw the championship wide open. The stakes couldn't be higher. And it's not just about Perez and Verstappen. The Monaco Grand Prix is a testing ground for all drivers, a place where legends are made and hearts are broken. So who will write their name in the annals of Monaco's illustrious history this year? Only time will tell. However, Christian Horner, the mastermind behind Red Bull Racing, holds clear expectations for his star drivers. While acknowledging their rivalry, Horner emphasizes the collective team objective to win the championship. He expects Perez and Verstappen to leave no stone unturned in chasing victory at Monaco, but without compromising the harmonious dynamics of the team. Horner seeks to harness this internal competition, fostering a powerful synergy that fuels their joint pursuit of success. Can these competitive teammates uphold this unique balance? As the countdown to the Monaco Grand Prix begins, we are poised to witness how this delicate dance between rivalry and camaraderie plays out on the historic streets of Monte Carlo. With that being said, we come to the end of today's video. We've talked rivalry, we've delved into the team dynamics at Red Bull, we've set the stage for the iconic Monaco Grand Prix, and now all that's left is to watch the drama unfold. The fierce competition between Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez, Red Bull's dynamic duo, is set to take center stage at the prestigious race, while Christian Horner, the skipper of the Red Bull ship, has his expectations firmly set. He anticipates a phenomenal performance from both drivers, but not at the cost of team harmony. Yes, the rivalry is intense, but at the end of the day, it's about team victory, about Red Bull's triumph. So, as we gear up for the Monaco Grand Prix, Damon Hill's prediction hangs in the air. Could this be the race where Perez shines brighter than his teammate? Could the narrow, winding streets of Monaco be the stage for Perez's victory dance? The stakes are high, the anticipation is electric, and we can't wait to see how this chapter of Formula One history unfolds. And we bet you can't either. So, what are your thoughts, folks? Who do you think will come out on top in this thrilling showdown? Verstappen or Perez? And how do you see this intense rivalry shaping the future of Red Bull and the championship race? Drop your predictions in the comments section below. Share your insights, your analysis, and your hunches. We're all in this ride together, and your voice matters. And remember, folks, don't forget to tune in for the Monaco Grand Prix. It's not just a race, it's a spectacle, a celebration of speed, precision, and sheer racing passion. You don't want to miss this. Keep your engines running and your spirits high. Let's hit the track.